world of Final Fantasy. World of Final Fantasy. Prologue. Awake at last. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick tock, tick tock. Tick. Talk.
time to wake up. I gotta get to work. Oh, am I gonna make it? The boss hates when I'm late. Then again, it's not like business has picked up any. The streets sure are quiet today. Hey, I'm here. Huh? How'd she get in if no one's here yet? Good morning. I'm real sorry. I hope you haven't been waiting long. Huh? Mm. Oh, right. She needs some water. Oh, no thanks. A pint. I mean, a cup of coffee, please. Oh, and bring the whole jar of sugar. I'm gonna need it. Right. That's one cup of joe. And I'll get you one of the big jars. Has nobody made the coffee yet? Come on, get it together, guys. I'm sorry, miss. This might take a while. Hey, no hurry. Time's not an issue. Here you go. Thank you. Sure. Your age, huh? Hey, don't talk down to me. Listen, last time I checked, little bro, I've been around a few minutes longer than you. <sighs> okay, okay. I get it already. Very sorry. <laughs> so, what's up? I'm all ears. Well, you don't have to get all sarcastic. Uh, you really are all ears. Uh, what? Forget it. So long. Have you seen anybody this morning? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm looking right at you, aren't I? And there's that customer. What? Ah! Oh, hello! You didn't even see her? Dude. Uh, yeah, but... Ah! Uh, look! Come with me right no. now! Easy! <laughs> There's 
There's nobody here. So it's a quiet morning. Maybe they just... I mean no one. Huh? Lon, have you bumped into anyone today besides her? Uh, now that you mention it, I guess not. And this isn't setting off any alarms? Well, should it? You two really don't remember a thing. Huh? What was that? Who are you? If you're from around town, then I don't know you. Uh, Rain Manners. You two really don't remember a thing. Would you please just answer my question? You can call me Anna... Crow. Anna Crow will work. Okay, well, we woke up to a ghost town this morning. Maybe you know why? Yes, you're quite alone. But you always have been. Huh? This world? It's always been the two of you. A world without time. One that ended when it began. What? That's the weirdest thing I've heard. But don't worry. Just because the world ended doesn't mean that it's going anywhere. You know, I have been checking up on you two. Until now, you were nothing but blank stares. So imagine my surprise when Lon took my order. What a morning. Okay. Now you're kind of scaring me. So, now that you're awake, we've got a story to tell. Which brings us to... Tama! Right to here! Uh, who the hog put this thing on my head? Yeah, I did try to mention it before. You take it from here. I'll go on ahead and link up a path. You the daddy! Huh? Uh, hey, uh, hey! You hey, can't just uh, leave! Salutations! The name is Tama, and I'm here to help out. Does anyone have any questions? Huh. Wait, I've got tons of questions. Why were you sitting on my head? And how the hell can a fox even talk? That's the seriously the first thing on your mind? <sighs> now I see why Anna Crow is just about the ready to throw in the towel. We're not allowed to be confused? Uh, hey, whoa, uh, take it easy there, Lon. I thought you were upset Let's too. Let's start the over. I'll make us some of the coffee. Huh? Oh, yes, please. Uh, but I already made some coffee before you got here. How can you just roll with this rain? Chill the owl. You live the much longer. Yeah, Lon. You shouldn't start out your morning with so much stress. Oh, would you like some sugar? Three cubes for you, right, Lon? Huh? I'm good uh, with just one. No. Okay, I... I'll have to go and put the coffee on. But I just said I... You know what? Just give me my dang cup of coffee. Barrage keepers? Me and Rain? That's the correct! Those the marks on your arms are proof. You were born to work the miracles! Miracles? Our arms can do that? Dude. How could you the forget? You used to command a whole the legion of them! You were masters of them! Powerful living illusions known as mirages! In the fact, even the Pleiad answered to you and those are the seven strongest mirages of all! With their power, you could have the ruled over all the world! Oh... So... We could have ruled the world? Because, what, we controlled these mirages? Well, that's what I've heard. From who? What do you mean? In a crow that told me, of course. Not enough the reminiscing. I've got to teach you two to use mirages again. What? How's that? First off, I'm going to present you with my very own prismarium. So what does it do? With this prismarium, the mirage inside becomes yours. And you can then make it do the anything in the everything you command. So let's the try it right now in glorious combat. Wait, what? Huh? Okay, go ahead and 
to throw some attacks out there. To take action, you need to spend something called action points, also known as AP. You automatically gain a little bit of AP each the time your turn comes around in battle. The amount of AP you need depends on the what you're trying to do, so make the sure you use them wisely. Did they do it? talent One to tussle. That was a good fight. Past, no, the Mirage could stand up to you. Dude, seriously? Dude, the seriously. It's hard to believe. I'm sure it is. As far as I can tell, you two have lost everything. All the memories and experience you've ever accumulated. Oh, but wait. Of course that would have happened when you and this world were spliced out. Huh? So not only did they lose the Mirages they had, they've been the stripped of all their memories of the Mirages too? But, I guess that explains why all their other memories seem to be largely unaffected. What? Listen, let me show you something. There, just beyond this light, lies another world called Grimoire. That is where you'll find all the mirages you've lost. You mean they're all inside this gate? You got it. 
Are you ready to conquer them again? So, um, if we do manage to find all the lost mirages, does that mean we'll be able to remember the things we forgot? Well, I don't know about that. After all, you lost your memories. It's not the same thing as forgetting them. Oh. But, even if you don't remember Grimoire, Grimoire still knows a lot about you. You're certain to find traces and records of your past. Okay. So, like... You're saying, whether we remember anything about ourselves or not, we can still find clues about our past and the things we've done? Correct. And if you keep on gathering mirages, I think you might even meet your family in due time. Uh, our family? Huh? Well, I guess it does make sense that we'd have parents. Oh, yes. So then, you going? You going? Will you journey to Grimoire? <sighs> <sighs> Chapter 1 Land of the Lilikin So, this must be Grimoire. What? Awesomely weird. Well, this kind of works out. We won't have anybody gawking at our arms. Way to find the silver lining. I guess we should head straight down this path? What? I'm not gonna get lost... yet. Oh, hello. I spy another mirage. That is the call to Choco Chick. What are you the waiting for? Go on and imprison the it. Okay. like a prismarium. What is it? That's the call to prism. Use it to the make the Choco Chicks prismarium. Every time you find a new of the mirage you haven't seen before, it'll be recorded in Anna Crow's special mirage manual. Whoa! Does it even have pictures? You the betcha. And then whenever you add a new mirage to the manual, you receive one of its prisms. But only the first time to mind you. Okay, first, try the weakening the Choco Chick, then the use your prism.
not done yet! to the claim that mirage for your own. Go on, the select the prism command. You might have to try different things before certain mirages will let down their guard and give you a chance to imprison them. Think the outside of the box. Choco Chick running around in the Prismarium. Pretty the neat, huh? Next, why the don't you have a go at stacking that Choco Chick on your head? Here, watch, I'll just show you. Oh, now I get it. So when I saw you perched on Lon's head back in Ninewood Hills, that's what you call stacking. Yep, that's the right. While I'm up to here, I get to take it nice and the easy. Uh, is that stacking or slacking? When you create a stack, the HP of everyone in the stack gets the added together. Like they say, strength in the numbers. Oh, so it's like combining into a super robot. Better than yet, your magic and other abilities have the potential to change too. It all depends on how your stack is the configured. Huh? Oh, I don't need any action figures when I get to blast out super attacks like a super robot. Well, just be the careful. Stacking doesn't make you invincible. Some of the enemy attacks have the power to unstack you. In other words, bye-bye super robot, so to speak. Yowzers. It does sound like bad news. It's true that we are individually the weaker when we're unstacked, but look on the bright side. Since we each get our own the turn in battle, we can use the extra moves to have one member attack and another the heal. It can be very the helpful. Depending on the situation, you might even decide to unstack yourselves by choice. Think the carefully and choose the best setup for the job.
the way, you two can be switch between giant size and lilikin size. Depending on your size, you can make different stacks. You aren't be allowed to put big things on top of the small things when creating a stack. So, to get on top of a mirage, you need to the be in lilikin form. The best way to the learn is to try it once you've rounded up a few more mirages. You'll pick it the up in no time. There's nowhere else to go. What are we gonna do? Never the fear! Look the closely! This may appear to the be a wall, but it's actually a guinea golem. Is this a mirage too? Not in the traditional the sense of the word. But you'll see these pests all over Grimoire. And unless you they give them what they want, they'll give you a hard the time and block the way. So what is it they want? It really the depends on the guinea golem. So the first thing you'll have to the do is examine it. So where do we find that? That choco chick you just imprisoned ought to be able to track the down what we need. But first things the first, you're going to have to unlock the right ability on the choco chick's the mirage board.
Hey, the Choco Chicks come along. Huh? It found something. Yay! You the found it! Now, try examining the Gimme Golem one more at a time. The Choco Chick found us just the item we needed. Yep, yep. With the help of a Mirage or the two, there's nothing that you can't accomplish. And Mirage boards are for much the more than unlocking abilities. You can also use them to change your Mirages into new and the powerful forms. So be sure to keep on the leveling up and working on your Mirage boards. Pretty soon you'll be bouncing in the trouncing across Brimmore like a pair of the pros. So, Tama, I notice mirages disappear when we defeat them. Why is that? Most of the mirages you see in Grimoire don't actually the technically belong in this world. And so, when one of you guys that gives them the old KO, they can't maintain their presence here anymore. They fizzle the out and go back... Huh. Wait. Now, that's weird. Who was it that told me all this before? Ugh. It's like... right there, on the tip of my tongue. Now, what's this? This is the Kata Merkrift. Inside, you're the likely to find mirages that are, shall we mirages? say... Mirages? Oh, man, let's go catch them. But... Uh, this one's not very cute. Mirages that are the strong and dangerous. You tried to tell us. Try a little harder, please. die already? What? I died? But that's... no way! Maybe it's true. That Mirage and the Murkrift did kinda... Well, I'm still alive. Yes. That's because someone intervened. Right at the moment of your demise. And made it so the battle never happened. Wow, you can really do that? Of course. Although Tom is the one who does it. That's the right! I have the power to rewind time a little. And then the whisk you to safety. Although, it costs me a life to do it, so I hope you don't mind if I rest for a little of the while afterwards. A life? You might not believe it, but I've actually got multiple lives. Back there, I had to sacrifice one of those lives to turn back time and to save you. You see, 
This girl with the ribbon that showed up in my dreams. She's the one who taught me how to the do it. That makes zero sense and kind of freaks me out, but Tama, I'm impressed. But thanks! Oh, but just so you know, I can only the use my powers to protect the two of you specifically. And only the if you lose a fight, like what happened to you in the Merkrift. Oh, the yeah! And I can always the recover my lives if you stay here and let me the rest a spell. So, don't forget to give me a breather before I run out of second the chances. Dude, you got it. Say no more. Rest yourself silly. Yes, this sir. Thanks, Tama. We really owe you one. Especially Lon, who didn't have the good sense to listen before diving in. D uh, <laughs> hey, who's that? Oh, if you mean our new guest, she claims to have gotten herself lost. Go say hello. She's quite the character. Uh, okay. The real Where'd question is how she got she here from the outside world when it's no easy trick. Oh, she must have experience away. crossing between Would planes. So, she's over at North Promenade. Wow, she's so tiny. Is she a... Uh, what's the word again? Lilikin? Chocobo Golina! Oh! <coughs> Hello, and how are you? Hmm? Uh, good. More or less. You know, what a nice quiet place. Oh, uh... So who are the you? You can call me Choco Latte. I seem to have washed up here like a soggy yellow feather in a storm. Huh? I do have this funny knack for winding up in strange places. Uh, cool. All right. Care to shop? I've got the goods. Choco Boko Chicken. operation is this? It's called a shop, dear. You're in luck. I find all kinds of stuff as I bounce from point A to point Q. I'm your Chobo connection. So hey, are you ready to head back to Grimoire? mongering and uh let's see oh i'm good at hoarding things yep hoarding hoarding why do you think i'm here you must have tons of prismariums more than you can handle right well we're still working on it uh-huh you'll have scads of them before long you're gonna need a place to unload yeah they are kind of bulky well who's got you covered this pixie right here Anacrow made me a special prism case that lets me keep all your prismariums safe. 
just plonk the ones you don't need in and yoink the ones you do need out. All plonking and yoinking must be performed within the confines of Nine Wood Hills or from an alternate location with a suitably strong connection. Additional terms, conditions, and restrictions may apply. Okay. I'm not sure I caught every single word, but I guess I agree? Oh yeah, this prismarium belongs to one of my tribe. Treat it with the same boundless love and affection you feel for me. Okay. Seraphie's kind of a special the case. Anyway, I think you should be able to manage on your own from here. You mean you're the leaving us? Yes, you handle things now. Oh, okay, I the will. It's cool. Mm. I'll lock this place mm -hmm. down tighter than a Marlboro's bottle of mouthwash. That's a Seraphie guarantee. Huh? But, but where are you going now? Oh, well, somewhere what else, of course. Yeah, that's huh? not exactly very helpful. Awesome. Look, we really need to ask you so many things. No, no, you'll figure it out. I can't do everything for you now. Everything? But you've barely done anything. Besides, every world has its own rules. Like water dousing fire, and light banishing darkness. Uh, I think that's just called science? Well, I designed mine to be so completely unbreakable that even I can't undo them. Undo what? The rules. <sighs> You're bad at explaining. You're saying you can't help... Because that violates the rules of the world or something? Exactly. But why is that? I mean, come on. Just who do you think you are? Me? Oh, well... I'm God. <laughs> bye, Hasta bye, la vista. She's gone. Dude. I guess we can't necessarily rule it out, but for somebody calling the cosmic shots, she seems kind of sub-benevolent. Well, that's Anna Krell for you, so get used to it. So, she really is God? Beats me. Anna Crow is Anna Crow, wouldn't you say? Pity the much. Uh, thanks for clearing it up.
Well, that certainly cost us a chunk of time. And whose fault is that? Oh, uh, yeah, I... Wasn't so bad. Oh, uh, yeah, I want names. No trouble at all. Predictable. I know, I know. But 
could we see all this stuff before? Now that you've fought that thing the once, you can see all its information. And if you the happen to know some Libra magic, you can peep at its data before you even jump in. Very good thing to keep in the mind. Got it. Yep. Very good thing to keep in the mind, Lom. Uh, why are you repeating it? And just for my sake? Come on, bring it! Let's begin! That was a good fight. Good job. Chapter 2 
Foretold by prophecy. Hey, sis, is that a town over there at the end of the bridge? Yeah, and I don't know why, but something about it takes me back. Supposed to get on? Absolutely! All the aboard! Oh, dude! Hmm. Oh, hey, sis, let's park it here. Sure. It's been since we've had new passengers. Huh? 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 Right, tickets, please. Yeah! Ah! Ah! Oh! A mirage? What? It talks? Oh, I indeedly needly am a mirage. But I'm also the train conductor, so tickets, please. The conductor? All right. Tama can talk, then why not? But the train tickets that we need are right the here. Right the hell? Wow! Semi-lifetime passes, eh? Haven't feasted my eyes on one of these in a swell spell. Right then. Pleasant journey. Where did those tickets come from? In a crow made sure, I was provided with everything we could ever the need. Yep, yep. Uh, okay then. So why a semi-lifetime pass? And not a lifetime one? This place rules! Yeah, it's like something right out of a fantasy. Hey, Tama, why don't you get your ride? Roger the Dodger! Pardon. Huh? If I may ask, would you be kind enough to tell me what country you hail from? Oh, us? We're, uh... Ah! <laughs> Mirage is from the Hamushin <laughs> Army! <laughs> Oh, 
Bahamu? What? A Bahamu? Well, the Bahamutian Federation has a whole army of mirages in their employ. Huh? Someone's made a whole army out of them? Sounds just fine by me. Line them up nice and neat for us, so we can round them up. Huh? Hey, wait up! Uh, on! All right, you Bahamus. What's your beef, huh? You even make it sound like they're made of beef. <sighs> yeah, Lon, don't you know it's at stake? What the? What just happened? Why wasn't I able to imprison that mirage? Didn't you see the light that's surrounding it? That means it's the beholden to another keeper. The what? B.O.? A smell? Uh, no! What I mean is, the mirage already has another the master. So until you give their boss the old heave the hoe, you won't be able to claim it for yourself. Fire whoever wrote that little hook in. Lon, it's nay on the fourth wall stuff. Giants. Oh, whoops. Are they Bahamutian soldiers? But they drove the mirages off for us. It's just like the prophecy, word for word. But which one? Well, we know how it ends. Please, may I speak with you? Huh? Oh, uh, sure. Two of you. You've traveled here from another world. Oh, well, I wouldn't... I mean... Actually, I think you're pretty much spot on. And we're Mirage Keepers, too. But, Lon, don't tell her! Why not? Face it, we're too awesome to try and hide it. I'm, like, exuding all over. Lon, you don't even know what exude means. There is someone who would like to have a word with you. Could you possibly... Stop by Castle Cornelia. So let's find this Casa Cornelius place. Doesn't Casa mean up? It's gotta be higher up. Well, you've got the direction correct. Even if the rest of that was completely off the base. That woman must be important if she's inviting us to the castle. Nice armor. Leave them alone, please.
Thank you for coming. Welcome to the Kingdom of Cornelia. I am Princess Sarah. Wait, you're like a princess? We had no idea. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry Lon acted like such a royal idiot. I'm not royal. Oh, and I'm his older sister, Rain. It's an honor. Please forgive the ruse. At first, I suspected that you might be agents sent here by Bahamut. I was wrong. You stood up bravely against their mirages and kept our town safe. All of Cornelia thanks you. Oh, I wouldn't say we were that brave. Really. <sighs> Stop, you're so modest. Still, the fact of the matter is, we didn't do anything all that outstanding. Yeah, we're more the in-standing types. Huh? I'm pretty sure that in-standing isn't an actual the word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, forgive me. It's just so hard to believe that you two are the stuff of prophecies. Prophecies? Oh, that's right. I think I heard the townsfolk going on about some kind of prophecy too. Oh, I am sorry. If you will permit me, I will explain it from the beginning. You see, Cornelia is an unfederated state midway up Grimoire. Unfederated? Yes. Let me explain that as well. The majority of Grimoire's countries and municipalities have annexed themselves to the Bahamutian Federation under the rule of Brandalus, the Herald King. Cornelia, however, has continued to maintain its sovereignty. The Federation has made attempts to erode this stance countless times. But we have held our ground, and now Bahamut has taken to armed provocation. You mean like that Mirage attack before? Yes. So where does this prophecy factor in? The Azure prophecy speaks of a divergence. When time begins its march anew, they shall return as visitors. Giants from the hills of a world not our own. Upon Grimoire, they will wreak two divergent futures. One that brings salvation, and the other ruin. An enigma to confound even the highest mind. The giants may... wreak two futures? Reek, huh? Oh, man! Tama, this prophecy's about you! What? What? What are you even talking about? There's nothing the way I smell! You big the dummy! Well, at least I'm dumber than you! I'm sorry, Your Highness. I'm afraid there's just no hope for them. Oh. So, the giants from the hills, as in, nine with hills? I guess it's one of those believe-what-you-want-to things? But yeah, so far, it does seem to match up. Um, do you mind if I ask you a slightly awkward question? If this federation is really so terrible, why have so many countries agreed to become members? Most of the mirages in Grimoire, not all, but certainly most of them, are now firmly under the federation's control. With such a powerful army behind them, citizens can go about their lives without fearing the mirages that still roam free. Dude, they control that many mirages? Seriously? Y yes Uh, dude. Whoa. King Brandless's herald lieutenants, known as Seguardus and Pelinor, command all of Grimoire's mirages with the same authority as the famous Queen of the Keepers of ages past. So there was a Queen of the Keepers? Sounds like she was pretty powerful. Yes. But that was more than a century ago. So, sorry for the string of dumb questions, but if the Federation can guarantee that kind of absolute protection, wouldn't it be worthwhile to take them up on their offer? It may seem wise, but you see, membership in the Federation involves following their laws and adoption of a heinous creed. It chills me right to the marrow of my bones. That bad? Yes. I beg you, see for yourselves. Once you've done so, well, you will understand. All right, then. Now then, may I ask what the two of you intend to do next? Well, whatever's going on out there, the only thing we can do right now is just keep rounding up more mirages, am I right? Oh? Apparently, 
At one time, we commanded a whole legion of them. But somehow, we lost them along with our memories. So, we're hoping by getting the mirages back, we might stumble on some clues about our past. That's right. So if mirages like those goblins are bugging you, we can lay down the smack. Lay down the what? Uh, I think what he's trying to say is we'll help you out, or at least in the best way we know how. Oh, wonderful. You have my thanks. Mine and all Cornelia's. Still, if we're going to be any help, don't you think we need to beef up our arsenal first? Because we can't put up much of a fight without some strong mirages. Good point. Princess, do you know of any nearby places where strong mirages live? Certainly. If you travel to the northeast of Cornelia, you'll find the Nether Nebula, a network of caverns inhabited by many wild mirages. Ooh, nice. Well, Not at all. Savage mirages have been sighted in the nebula. You may well end up dead. Th that's cool. If you insist upon going, then please take the utmost caution. He will, your highness. Otherwise, he's gonna be extremely sorry! Wait a minute, why just me? What did I do? It looks like we'll need to wind our way down to reach the exit. Seems that way. What a funny way to build a town. Oh, it's not that this strange to the people of Grimoire. Hey, while we're here, why don't we ask around town and then see what we can find out? Say, you wouldn't happen to be the giants from the hills by any chance, would you? You see, there's a situation I'm dealing with where I could really use your assistance, since you must know Mirage so well. Could I trouble you to please bring me an earth hammer? If you could, I would be forever in your debt. Ninewood Hills? You see, the gate here doesn't connect to just one the area. All throughout Grimoire, you'll find places. Save the locations that lead back here. Open the way to come and to go as you please. And how exactly do we do that? You already have the saw. Just walk up to the right place, and that's all it takes. But surely a means of transportation that handy must come with a catch? No, the catch! You can use the gate as the little or much as you like. What's more, time in here and time in Grimoire, they don't both the flow at the same speed. So whatever crisis is going to down, you can put it on hold and kick back here till you're ready. Whoa, it's like magic. Yeah, really irresponsible magic. Just imagine revisiting any place we've been. We'll call it the Super Porta Party. 
Are you the kidding? That name definitely gets an F. He deserves an H. An H? But grades only go down to F! Extra, extra, read all about it. What, what do you the one here, Seraphy? In case you're wondering, you can use the prism case anywhere you find one of these gates. Oh, I think I would get it now. Gates are the what you meant when you talked about a strong connection. Huh? Oh, right, right, that's the gist of it. Okay, to the Nether Nebula. Chapter 3 Old Acquaintances Time to go hustle and rustle a little mirage muscle. Just don't hustle so much that you get yourself lost, okay? I might just leave you there. <laughs> When's the last time I got... Don't push it. Okay. Here is so clean. Yeah, right? Yahoo! You're a Yahoo. No, no, Ray, you need to shout for it to work. Yahoo! Be the care. 
powerful. The mirages in here are a lot the stronger than any you faced the before. Yeah, let's not mess around in the never neba thing a nabob. Never nebula. Do you think you can do something about that habit of forgetting the name of virtually everything? Oh, here's another gate. That's the right. Gates that usually turn up in towns or at the start of most mirage-infested areas. You never have to travel far to the visit a place you've been. Whenever you want to get from point the A to point the B, just use the gate as a handy little shortcut. A shortcut, huh? So like, if we wanted to go back to Cornelia right this instant, we could just take this gate back to Ninewood Hills, then we can take the gate from there to Cornelia. You see? All in all, it makes for a pretty short shortcut. Yeah! If it were hair, you'd have to call it... You'd have to call it a buzz cut! Okay. Come on, sis. Let's follow this rabbit hole as far as it goes. Yeah, fine. Just behave yourself.
We did it! Victory! This dungeon is way more dungeony than I thought. Did you know that originally, dungeon referred to the biggest tower in a castle? It's what they called the castle keep. How long has it been since I've heard Rain go off on one of her educational rants? Here we go! Yeah, we got this. The more upset she gets, the more she tries to cover it up by spouting random trivia. You know where the word trivia comes from? Sis, I think we're good. Make this good. Dude, it's on.
Good job. What's this for? It's a strange switch that the response to mirages. The mirages you imprison the inside these caves should be able to help you out. Check out that switchcraft. Yep. Now we know switch way to the go. Switchever one of you thinks you're being clever is about to get a knuckle sand switch. Ugh. Did did I just get owned? I'm the raising the white flag here too.
yeah, we got this. I guess we're doing this. Wasn't so bad. Tama, weird question. Um,
Trying to give you some tips. Dude, really? We've got the advantage. <laughs> you won't know what hit you. to the break it to you, but you will never the be that per I know. It's so sad. Whoa! Hey now, come on! You don't have to look that broken-hearted when you say it. You better watch out, because the mirages inside are extremely the powerful. And the worst part, if you cross it and lose a fight the inside, I can't use my powers to rewind time and extricate you. No extrication? Guess we'd better be extra careful then. <laughs> Ugh. Anyway, it sounds like if we're going in, we better go in fully prepared. That's the for sure! And don't forget to save your progress, too.
Are you kidding me? Mirages can stack too? Yep. You're not the only one. Well, that ought that to do wasn't it. so bad. Make this good. Dude, it's on. Come on! wasn't so bad.
dude, it's on. Let's make this good. Trouble at all. Victory! I won't hold back. Right, let's do this. That was a good fight. Predictable.
Victory! Make this good. Dude, it's on. Okay, here we go. I will. Good job. I won't hold back. Right, let's do this. Well, that ought to 
predictable.
I expected some foolhardy adventurer with a terminal case of curiosity. What's this? Well, look who's back. Ah, the half buns. Hail and well met. Wait, hail and well met? That's not our names! I think he just means hello. Oh, and for the record, he happens to be a half-wit and a half-pint. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't changed a bit. Huh? What's so funny? Oh, you're having a lawn moment. Guess I'll just add this one to the pile. Wait, what pile? There's a pile? Apparently. We've met the three of you before, although we don't remember it. You do not remember us? Really? No wonder they haven't summoned us. Then our course of action is clear. We must ensure the pecking order is pecking in the right order. If you seek to command the three of us again, then demonstrate your strength now or else be destroyed! Die! Hold now. Why must you two always let the blood rush to your head? W uh, what do you mean? Would you just look at them? These are not the Mirage Keepers we knew. Hi. You're right. They do look rather... How do I put it? Put what? Mon does set the bar low. Like Limbo the bar low. Hmm? Ah, oh, I see. See what? Very well. What say we pit them against just one of us, to keep things nice and fair? Hmm, agreed then. Go on, choose from among us and choose wisely. Choose for what? Time certainly has not made you any more clever. What we're trying to say is, the two of you are no match for all three of us at once. Which means... Right, I get it, thanks. Now, let's see... Huh? Wait, get what?
care to play? I'll send chills up your spine and right through your heart with my diamond dust. For what? Help me out here! I hope this doesn't traumatize you. Nice knowing ya. You're done! to my man. Enough. I have seen my fill for one day. That was fun, for what it was. A shame the two of you have so much growing up to do. Quiet, you! I'm a hulk waiting to happen. So long. We shall meet again. Well, our paths may cross before you know it. Bye-bye for now. Huh? What's this? A prismarium, duh. I know it's a prismarium, dummy. You didn't manage to imprison those tough mirages, but it looks the like they give you this prismarium from the same tribe as a consolation prize. I see. I guess we made the grade then.
The mirages of the nebula have been set free. And once again, time resumes its march. Well, we better make our way back to Cornelia before the Baja Mushans get any funny ideas. We gotta go all the way back. You can head to Ninewood Hills right now if you want to. Huh? Now that the boss has been the bested, I can make you an exit gate right here and now. Ta -da -da! It'll take you the back to Ninewood Hills, and from there, Cornelia's easy. Thanks to the buzz cut. I remember. <gasps> You don't get shortcuts much the shorter than a buzz cut. Wait! Unless you buzz the buzz cut, and then the what have you got? Uh, I think at that point, you call it a bald cut. the items made by isolating a Mirage's abilities. If either the one of you equips them, you'll be able to wield whatever the abilities they hold. The right Mirage-Jewels with the right the stack can make for a powerful combination. You here to manage your prismariums? is yet in store. Might even be in my store. Welcome to the Chocolate Mart!
have a fantabulous day! That face! Oh, I hate walking everywhere. I can read you like a book. Huh? Me? Yeah. I know a lazy slacker when I see one. Hey! What's up? Oh, just some news you may find of interest. Ha, ha, ha. It'll blow your little minds. Why? Because you will never believe this. Yeah? <gasps> All throughout Ninewood Hills, I have staked out some windways. Windways? Steak! Now that you mention it, I'm starving. Have you got anything else tasty on the menu? Oh, sure. Here you are. Might I recommend today's special, the Sahagin Soup? Stop that! We'll never get to the point if you egg them on like that! Huh? You want eggs? Oh, fried? Sunny side up? Hmm. All we've got is scrambled. Just tell us about the windways! Oh, those? They're basically just shortcuts. The kids call it fast travel. You get to zip around every which way using one of those gooey doohickeys. Yep. Uh, I don't think you're allowed to go there. So what if the food's a little gooey? I'll still eat it. We are not talking about food! Oh. Wait, I get it. All that business about steak, that was a pun. Nice one, Lon. Oh. Thank you. Don't tell me you thought he was serious! <laughs> I realized something just now. We can never believe Lon and Seraphie alone together. Nothing good could come of it. <laughs> <laughs>